back, you know, back in the, the late 50s. Uh, oh, I just told my age. Oh, anyhow, uh, I, my parents took off in the family car, and back then the family car wasn't a pollution-controlled car like we have. It was a, a regular internal combustion car with no pollution controls whatsoever, and it stunk. And they took off one day, and I waved bye to them. Well, I was a little guy, and exhaust is kind of like at my level, and it burnt my eyes, and I coughed. I'm going, wow, you know, that's pretty awful stuff. That, and I looked around, and I, I was smart enough to figure out that it was being poured into the air, and I was choking on it. So I literally went inside and started playing with my little battery-powered toys that I had, my little cars and trucks, and, and it, it, something snapped. I said, someday, big cars will run like this, and they won't make the air stink. This is a 120-volt bike. It's a has twin motors uh, set up to switch series parallel. I'm using a 1200 amp Raptor controller, and uh, it's never never been on the track in this configuration. So I'm going to have to just wing it to see what it's going to do here. So, this is about the third iteration of this particular bike. That's why I call it Frank and Dragon Redux. It's the uh, Latin term for revisited or, or brought back uh, Franken, Frankenstein style. You know. uh, what we have here is a, uh, a 1921 Milburn light electric. It was built in Toledo, Ohio. It uh, was built from 1915 to 1923. This particular one was toward the end of the, the production years and they pretty much didn't modify them since from 1917 through 1923. <laughs> I did not convert this car to electric. It's an original electric car. And there's approximately, I'd say, 300 original electric cars from early century that are still out there and uh, in people's hands or in museums.